Hola, que tal amigos? Welcome to Cooking with Bry Guy. I've got Jorge here, or hey, George, as the English speaking would say. Um, today we're making ceviche, ceviche. but Ecuadorian ceviche. Though. Um, and just so you know, hopefully this will be the first of many. Where basically what we, what I will be doing is straight on cooking. Uh, what, so why don't you tell me what we need in order to make this uh, ceviche? Uh, in that case, we will need 12 limes. We will need, if you are going to cook tostones. Get some green plantains, in this case we got some uh, regular yellow plantains. Uh, you will need some tomatoes, I would say maybe get two or three just to be safe. Um, if you could get the larger one that's, you know, preferable. And then get yourself a nice, what is it, like a red onion? It's like red, yeah. Yeah, red onion. And then we have the cilantro. And you got the main, main ingredient, the shrimp. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, we got, <laughs> you gotta let me know what we need. <laughs> we need at least a pound or maybe two pounds, depending how many people you're feeding. If you want to feed at least five people or more, get at least two pounds. In this wow. case, it's only me and Bright Guys, so we probably only got like a pound of shrimp. I'm okay with that. And then if you want, you can incorporate some rice to it and that would complement the whole dish together. Luis. <laughs> you gotta get that lighting on me. You, just, you see the light? Jesus, you know I'm dark. Right there. <laughs> he's uh, his, uh, his roommate. He's now spectating, waiting for some food, as am I. Next thing we gotta do is throw in the uh, ceviche. Just pop them in there. And what you gotta do is just kinda let it cook for a bit. And then what you wanna do is throw in some lime juice, just so it can absorb some of that. Not too much. Just a tad bit. So after giving it a few minutes to kind of cook on its own, just throw in some, a little bit of cilantro in there and tomatoes and onions. That's kind of give it the overall flavor. So you know how I told you earlier, this is cooking with Bry Guy. I was kidding, because apparently it's cooking with George right here, Jorge. Oh, mira. <laughs> <laughs> so after it cooks about for 10 to 15 minutes, what you want to do is, want to make sure you get one of these type of bowls where the water will pass through. Have another plate underneath so it, you can still keep the water that was being cooked because that's holding up all the flavor. Let's pour that in right now. I would dump that back in there, add the limon, add the onions, add the cilantro, add the tomato, and then that's when it starts mix it to up. all Mix come up, together. Come together. So now what I want to do is add all the rest of the ingredients. I want to add all then cilantro, onions, tomatoes, and then to top it off, you have the lime juice. All right. So you just threw me off right there because you said you top it off. You sound like oh. you're from New York. <laughs> yeah, you top it off with everything. Damn it, it comes out right. <laughs> uh, I'm from New York. Yeah. Okay. From, I'm actually from the Bronx, New York. And so you're Ecuadorian. We know that. And what Honduran. else are you? And Honduran. But I was raised with a lot of Dominicans. Okay, so we're no longer in New York, surprise, surprise, we're in LA. Yeah. What brought you to LA? Uh, I do a lot of commercial directing. So He's now, a director, guys, of course he would come to LA. Mm. You're one of those. Yes, one of those. So, wait, so you are a director, are you currently working on something? Uh, yeah, right now I'm actually working on a short film called Gannett. It's a psychological thriller. It's, I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but it's sleep paralysis. Like, But essentially the whole thing is, um, when you go to sleep, you're paralyzed for about two minutes, uh, but you're fully conscious of what's going on. What? And some people tend to experience, you know, some hallucinations, um, out of body experiences. And so I took those experiences that are coming from my own experiences and I turned it into a script. And nice. So now we're making a movie. So if you want more information about Good Night, make sure you uh, check below. I'll include the links and everything that you need to know. This looks really good. Gracias, gracias. And so what we did, because we didn't have the green plantains and we had the yellow plantains. It's show fault. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so tired of this. Get, get the camera out of my face. So tell me, how come you got yellow this is plantains? I asked, I, let me tell you something. I asked, ask, because you always want to make fun of how I say ask. I asked the guy at Sopurio, hey, what kind of- Sorry, wait, 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 hold, back up, where? Sopurio. Okay, uh-huh. See? All right, <laughs> Como Espanol. Hola. Anyway, I asked him, what kind should I get? I was like, verde y amarillo. And he was like, amarillo. And I was like, you sure? 
He was like, I don't okay, see. And I was like, cool, we got this. And I got the yellow ones. That's what he told me to do. So for the record, you'd want to get the, the green, green ones. ones to make oh. those tones. But to be quite honest, this is going to complement it very well. Uh, so we made Maduro's instead. You're the first one to try this. I'm ready. You, you've been ready. <laughs> you've been ready. Yeah, I've been ready. I was waiting for you at the door, honey. <laughs> Come on. Eat it up. Mm. Yeah. See? See. No me mientes. Mm, no Listen, lie. I grew up just doing the, the Spanish, the Mexican ceviche, so we'll see. Muy delicioso. Ah, muy bien. ¿Hablas español? Sí. Verdad, verdad. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Huh. Really, really good. See? I'm talking about it.